What's up, naughty buddies? Welcome back, and it's time for Kina Beach of Spirit. Let's play part six. Yes, guys. So, if you haven't watched my previous game by walkthrough of the Kina, you can do so by clicking on the end screen, which is uh, which where I have mentioned all the playlists, and as well you can do by clicking on the top right eye icon. And if you are new to this channel, make sure you smash the subscribe button and turn on that notification bell icon. And guys, we have a small Discord server. The link will be in the description. Yeah, I would really appreciate if you guys can join. And you shout out to all my lovely contributors and patrons. You guys are really amazing. So without wasting time any further, let's dive into the gameplay and see what's holding next for us. I'm really excited because uh, I just don't know. I really want to just play this game. Alright, so we are almost there. Alright, so this is where we left our game last time where we have saved it. So, alright, so let's get going. And a small disclaimer, or you can say a small notice, guys. Uh, behind the scenes, I have uh, uh, tried searching for the rods and stuff so that uh, while playing the game, uh, uh, it shouldn't waste time. Like it shouldn't increase duration. So previously, we had like uh, I guess uh, 28 or something rods, and now I guess I have got like 30 something. I'm not 30 or 29. Not much, just a bit of rods like here and there because I was roaming here and there. All right, so now we need to go to the Taro's Regret. Okay, we will do that now. Okay, let's get going. Mm -hmm. All right, nothing is here. So guys, how's your day going so far? Let me know down in the comment or you can just type in live chat what's going on right now. And I'm really, I'm really sorry. I really apologize for uh, uh, posting this uh, gameplay walk a bit late. Uh, it didn't go as per the plan. Like uh, I was working on Aragami 2 and then I was supposed to work on Kina part 6. But then something happened like uh, uh, my mic wasn't working properly and stuff. Alright, so let's shoot this. This should take us like this should take us somewhere i'm not sure let's uh, let's follow this oh okay it's a forest here all right all right okay we need to place it on top of this plant oh okay we need to purify this place as that place is blocked by all the bad spirits or some or some sort you know right bad stuff all right let's uh, cleanse this area Awesome. Awesome. Let's go ahead and all right. I guess we need. Oh, okay, okay. Enemies, you are right here. All right. Time to kick your birds, man. <laughs> all right. I won't lie. I just love bow and arrow actually in this game. Oops. No. Damn. There we go, successfully parried. Uh oh. Alright, awesome. Alright, three more enemies right in front of us. Let's use rod arrow. Uh, yeah guys, so in previous game I walked through the rod arrow wasn't, uh, you know, wasn't a skill because uh, I actually unlock it while uh, oh, finding uh, you know rods behind the scene. It's it was just a basically a normal unlock using our upgrades. It is a, just a skill which I actually unlock it. So if you wonder from where this uh, rod arrow skill appeared from, so yeah, I was just working behind the scene like finding rods and stuff, and there I actually got some you know karma points, and then I just unlock it uh, using the upgrade menu. So no, there's nothing that like you guys haven't uh, missed anything out. It was just a normal upgrade. That's it. All right, let's click on here, and uh, here we go. All right, forest here. Let's uh, make our rods in the actual dragon form so that we can uh, clear the ahead uh, for the areas, so that we can go ahead. All right. Damn, bro. What the hell? He came up from nowhere like suddenly he just up, uh, appeared all right great but we are uh, quite low on health so i'm not sure if i will be able to defeat uh, enemies here ahead 
but let's see. We'll try our best to not end up dying. Stay away from me. Awesome, awesome, we got this. Oh, oh, never mind. All right, it didn't work out as per the plan. Yeah, I mean, my health was quite low, like, very low, right? you know, so that's the reason. All right, let's get going into this. And this time we'll make sure that we count it. Uh, we make it count. I will try my best to at least keep like 50% of my health so that I don't end up dying. Alright, alright. There we go. Sheesh. <laughs> no. Oh. Shush, go away from here. Damn. Awesome. Alright, so three more enemies are waiting ahead for us. Hey, from where you came? I thought I killed everyone. Damn, bro. Alright, let's try to purify this place as well. Like, this. Awesome. Shish, those fireballs are really, really strong, man. And. Awesome, just one more. Uh oh, sheesh! His staff is like more powerful than mine actually. Awesome. Alright, I need to me. Alright. Here we got our courage. Alright, we need to cleanse this area. Alright, let, uh, let me transform my rods into their dragon form. Alright, and let me just keep a bit distance from that because uh, I know that one of enemies will just arrive as soon as uh, the part gets clear. Alright, there we go. He's coming here, he's coming here. No, not this time, buddy. Damn, bro. <laughs> Alright, so three more enemies and then I guess we are... Uh, we got this. At least our head is like more than 5% here. Alright, one is down. And third one. Almost. <laughs> Come on, man. Die already. Yay. Awesome. Alright, it's time to uh, purify this place. Alright, let's purify this as the ports are open up. And here we go. Yay. Okay. Alright, uh, I guess we need to purify that place as well because I guess there's a way to uh, get into the or go into the cave. Ah oh, man, they are looking so nice now, man. I wonder what if I have like around, uh, uh, let's say like 60, 70 rods, it would be like actual dragon form. Okay. Alright, uh, I guess we need to purify this as well. Damn. But uh, let's see. Yeah, I need to do it. Let's see if there's any sort of rods nearby. No, I don't think so. Alright. Alright, I guess I'm getting used with it. Like I'm able to control the rods in this in this form using my mouse. I feel I feel pro man. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. Go 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 go. Not here, man. Yeah, there. And there we go. Alright, let's interact with this. Yay, we got some diamonds. Awesome. We'll be able to buy some more heads for our lovely rods. Okay, alright. There's nothing here. Okay, let's uh, keep on going then. Alright. Alright, another forest here. We need to purify this place as well. But let's keep on checking here nearby to see if we can find any sort of rods. Uh, okay, let's uh, let's make our rods eat their fruits. Alright, guys, come on, feed on your fruits, man. Yay! Alright, let's go. Okay, now let's purify that part so that we can go ahead. Awesome. Let's go. 
Yeah. Oh, a meditation spot, which means my health is gonna be increased now a bit. Yay! Lovely. I really like the way she smiles. Damn. She's just too cute, actually. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, where we need to go now? Mm. Not sure. Mm. Oh, alright. There. Yeah. We. I'm sliding down. My god, it's... It's too dark here, actually. Whenever, uh, whenever we actually went into such caves and when we are going a bit uh, down, like going a bit under, uh, beneath these caves and stuff, there's always some sort of uh, boss around here. So I guess, uh, I believe that there has to be some boss here because we need to purify this place or something. Right. Let's try again. Alright. Uh, what is that? Yeah, as expected, there's our boss. Humongousaur! The way he actually came, like that was like Humongousaur. Shrine Guardian. Uh oh. Damn. Okay, okay. I need to shoot at the orange spot right there. There we go. Alright, we, we need to keep on evading or else uh, one hit him and I will lose like around 50% of my health. Which is definitely not good. Alright, alright, alright. I want to use my rod hammer ability but uh, timing isn't that good. There we go. Now! Great. So like uh, each and every hit, I guess he is losing like 15-15% uh, HP? Maybe. Shish. Uh oh, no, no, no sir, leave me alone, damn. Alright, alright, I need, ouch. Alright. Okay, that didn't work out actually, because I guess my aim, uh, my target was, wasn't actually the boss right there. Sheesh. Alright, alright, we need to defeat him. I will try my best to defeat him in the first attempt. Because I know exactly how I can beat him. Like, I just need to keep dodging him and just uh, need to use my rod hammer. That's it. Oof. Alright. And there's another orange spot right there. If I'm lucky enough, I will be able to, to uh, shoot my bow on it. Shoot my arrows on it. And it might just work out. Shish. Alright, alright, we got this boys. And we have one uh, plant which we can purify so to get to regain our health. So that's a bonus point for us. We just need to use it on proper timing, that's it. Alright, that was close, that was close. Alright, alright. Damn! Alright, alright, alright. Wonder if I can shoot that spot. Oh, all right, I can, I can, I can. Oh shit, man, missed by, missed by an inch or something. All right, not bad. We are still at our fifty percent health, and we can still uh, do this. All right, I'm at hundred percent health. Boys, you're gonna get wrecked by me now. Shit, not that, not that was in plan. Here we go. Awesome. He's almost at, I guess, 45% health or something. And these guys are really gonna help. Uh, these guys are helping me to uh, get my courage back. So I'm actually glad that uh, I'm not uh, fighting alone with the boss. Like uh, there are there are some you know small enemies nearby me, so that they help me to gain the courage and I can use my skills or abilities there. All right, time for rod hammer. Oh, 
failed. Oh, damn. All right, not bad. Oh, awesome. Let's get our health back. Let's purify that plant. Maybe. Not sure. Yes, there we go. Alright, it should be easy now. We just need to survive. That's it. And oh! No! Damn. Got this, we got this, we got this. Awesome, he's at just like 10 or 5% HP, we got this, we got this voice. Alright, alright, just one more rod hammer and he's down. Oh yeah, he's almost down. Shit, I just... Alright, I just need to get rid of this 3 or 4 uh, Tito's right here. And then we are good. I just hope that he doesn't regenerate his hell or something. Oh no, he won't. I guess I just need to purify this area. Yay! Awesome! Shrine Guardian is down. Awesome. Oh, I guess that's our third relic. Or maybe second, I'm not sure. I guess it's third, I guess. Free tarot. Use the relics to free tarot. Yes. Tarot's we create complete hell. Awesome. Relic discover. Lantern. Alright. Alright. So we have uh, found three relic relics. And that's great. And here we go guys. We are now level 3. And we've got our rest of our rods. So we have now 35 rods in our family. Welcome. Welcome homies. Welcome cutie pies. You are just awesome. Alright. So... Mm, let me just uh, scan this area for the last time to see if there's any more rods we can get or any more diamonds from this area. Uh, don't think so we have any but uh, mm, alright let's uh, head back. Maybe we need to go back up. I guess I'm, get I'm getting a bit uh, good when it comes to combat like uh, <laughs> at least I'm not uh, thinking like uh, 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 two three or four attempts um, i i either complete the and boss or stuff in like one in my first attempt which is quite rare but it happens at times and in second attempt all right so we need to go there uh free tarot all right so yeah this this looks like the way all right that's tarot's memory we need to follow it oh okay what's this uh okay so i guess we need to place this uh, lantern or you can say the lamp somewhere uh let me use my mask to see where accelerate pointing out anything or giving us any sort of hints uh no okay so maybe we should try placing it somewhere near here mm, nope let me try to release and see if it stays there or not All right. No, it uh, it it falls down. So <clears throat> where exactly I have to place this uh, object? Maybe beside here? Beside? It. Oh, never mind. Nope. All right. Let's just let's just go ahead and check. Maybe it it might be somewhere near here. All right. I guess maybe it's here. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. I, I see the spot there. I see the spot there. Maybe I need to place it here. Yeah, right. Hopefully it works. Oh, where are they? Bru, rods, bring, bring it here. My God, what are they even doing? Take it there. <laughs> the way they are following is so cute. <laughs> All right, and yeah. All 
awesome uh, now I guess I need to use my purification power or I need to shoot here ah all right all right we need to follow the spark sparkling things all right let's follow let's follow let's follow where it takes us mm, all right there okay where's where's our next tree all right right there let's shoot okay then we all right all right i guess this will purify the entire place if i'm if i'm right no no where it is where it is i need to do it before the time runs out all right awesome yeah uh where 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 uh, all right here oh, never mind Quickly, quickly, quickly. There we go. And purification starts in 3, 2, 1. Woo! Wow. The entire forest is, not, is now purified or cleansed. I found Taro's lantern. He must have lost it searching for the children. Bring the relics to the fallen tree. It's time to help Taro find peace. All right, so we need to head towards the tarot street. I guess that's the place where uh, there is a big, uh, uh, you know, uh, all bad spirits, all bad things are around, like uh, all dark objects right there. All right, so I need to find a web position, web lamp, so that I can uh, teleport or you can say fast travel there. Uh, where exactly it is? I need to check on map, maybe. But I'm just checking for the rods. If there are any sort of rods nearby, it would be great. But I don't think so. But it never hurts to give a check. Am I right, guys? What's here? Oh, look. Alright. It, it looks like it's a hat for our rods. Pinecorn. Yay. My new rod hat available. Awesome. Okay. So, where else? If you guys can, uh, if you guys notice any sort of, uh, you know, purple thing, then just let me know. <laughs> Alright. Um, Alright. I guess it's time we head back to the Tarot's tree. Okay, so where's the shrine? Hmm. All right, we need to walk to, uh, to the shrine, it seems. Alright guys, I'm gonna skip or uh, I'm gonna skip this journey or this uh, part where, and we will directly skip to the main uh, location which is Tarot Street. So please bear with me for a few minutes or not even minutes, just a second. Alright guys, so here we are and yeah, this is the place Tarot Street. Okay, so we need to purify this place using our relic. Let me talk to them. I'm going to help Taro now, but it's not safe for you here. Go with Mr. Rusu. I'll find you when Taro is free. Yeah, it's definitely uh, definitely not safe for the Skidos to be with, uh, around me because I am not sure what if a boss comes up and they, you know, it's not safe. Alright, let's interact. Alright, time for cutscene.
man, what's going on? There he is! Hey Taro! Wait, what? What the? What's going on with him? No, let him go! Damn! Alright, here we go. We are... Uh, I guess that's our, another boss right there. Corrupt Taro. Really, bro? Alright. Let's do this. Oh wow, he even got a sword. Damn. Oh, the sword is quite powerful, it seems. Alright, right, let's see. Let's see uh, how many attempts it takes uh, for us to defeat this. Alright, he's already at 75% HP. I just need to play smart, that's it. Uh. He, uh, his structure looks like some sort of wearable, you know. Uh, whenever I see his structure, like when I'm seeing it right now, it reminds me of a Bandan episode. Uh, I don't remember, but do you guys remember? He uh, he used to use his Omnitrix and there was some wearable alien thingy. So yeah, yeah, the structure or the way his uh, body structure is looking like the same. Damn. All right, awesome. He's almost at 60% HP. We got this, boys. We got this. Damn, bro. Ouch. Alright, time to use that to re uh, regenerate my health. Sheesh. Oh, wow. That wasn't expected, actually. I randomly uh, decided to shoot the arrow at his sword and it worked out all right Oof. all right we got this we got this boy we got this i feel that we got this because our health is like a bit more than what he has right now so Shouldn't be. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Awesome! I can't believe this. Yeah, bro. All right. All right. All right. We got this. I'm really happy about this one. Yay! Kina! Awesome guys! We did it guys! Love you all! That's Taro Spirit! Taro! Hey! Spirit Guide completed. So guys, if you have made this far in the video, the secret code is Spirit Guide. Yes, guys, because we completed this mission, so the secret the code is there. That took our parents was spreading through the village. All right, guys. Spirits of the forest. It's time for the story. Listen quietly. Walk with our people. Guide them on their journey to the mountain shrine. Food was running low. Everyone was scared. I never felt so helpless. Saya wanted to stay, but I thought we could go to Rusu for help. I was sure he would know what to do. Something was not right in the woods. I had never seen Rusu so worried. He sent us back to the village. And I knew we were alone. 
I was all that Benny and Saya had left. I had to protect them. My God, they are so cute. Oh. <laughs> Happened the next morning. from the mountain shrine covered the land in darkness. My God. This is a cutscene we saw in second second series. everywhere for them. I was their older brother. I was supposed to protect them. Even now, hard to forgive myself. Taro, the children know how much you care for them. What happened in the village wasn't your fault. You will always be their older brother, and they still need you. Finally a happy ending. Oh man, this scene is making me emotional. Damn. I'm sorry, Kina. We can't take you to the mountain shrine. It's okay. You have to go now. Wow guys, that was a really awesome cutscene and story. Damn. Honor Tarot. Return to the mass shrine to Honor Tarot. Okay, let's go there. Alright, let's meditate here. I guess it's a meditation point. Yep.
all right so we need to go here mass shrine and uh, all right so village all right so i'm gonna skip this part and here we are at the taros village okay i guess so guys how did you like the story so far of this game i mean if you ask me i'm loving it and the graphic and the story is just awesome all right i remember this old man here yeah let's talk with him taro rests with his siblings now i imagine the corruption in the forest has cleared as well I know it was time for Benny and Saya to move on with their brother, but the forest won't be the same without them. It's natural to build a connection with the spirits we help. We give up a part of ourselves when they move on, but the bond still remains. The path of a spirit guide is a lonely one. There is still work to be done if you wish to reach the mountain shrine. A skilled woodsmith once lived in our village and built structures beyond anyone's imagination. Search the fields beyond the storehouse for her troubled spirit. All right. So I guess with this I'm going to call this session or this let's play part 6 of the Kidna Bridge of Spirit and off. So it was a really great episode. At least I enjoyed playing this part and really love it. So guys let me know how was your experience. Uh, uh, how did you feel about this? And if you are new to this channel make sure that you smash the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell icon. And I have made a save just in case if something goes wrong. I have my save with me so I can replay this mission. And really guys love you all guys come on we are like around 760 subscribers can we uh, can we reach like 800 subscribers before the november kicks in come on guys this is a small goal actually i have come on guys share this video with your friends family members who love gaming content with your friends and once again thank you so much and i will see you in my next video or the stream till then take care guys love you all see ya